Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's we Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, another video back at you today and this one is a pile of my small fixed blades and I, th I haven't shown them all for ages, it's the first time I've gathered them up together for ages but here they are and I'm just going to quickly run through them it's going to be, it's like a, a way back Wednesday nearly because these were, a lot of these I bought right at the beginning of the channel just to have them in the, you know, part of the channel but I, I do use some of them and we'll talk about them as we go along and how much I've used them. But first of all, the uh, Clever Tech. You'd nearly think that was done by hand, wouldn't you? But please like, comment and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. It really would. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Over half of you are not subscribed or you don't like please do it <laughs> and comment if you want to ask a question on anything it's here please ask me i'll try to get around to everybody so there you go please so next that was the begging part over um let's just get started and we'll go through them quickly this is a smith and weston some people might say a crappy old knife i just say a very handy little knife uh this is one you can hang on the front of your straps when you're carrying a backpack it's got this sort of a blade. It's not going to do you for them. But it would cut a bit of string. It would cut your sandwich up if you stop on the on your hike for a sandwich. And my dog is crying at me. Stop now. How's your good boy? Sit down. Mummy's out, so they're missing mummy. So this is a great wee knife. But I keep this for a really specific person. Or person for a thing. Um, the front of it is a whistle. And not only is it a whistle, it's one of the best whistles. Like a little cheap knife like this. Listen. That's it. And it stops my dogs going. That whistle is one of the best I've ever seen on anything. The knife is nothing. But, it, you know, it'll open your sandwich packet. It'll open your nut packet that you're going to eat out of when you're walking on a hike. But really handy to have in case you get stuck and you're by yourself. These are super little tools to have with you. And they cost next to nothing. Another one that I think is a little boot knife that I bought just to have a little boot knife. But it is a really good one. It's a CRKT. I can't remember what name it was. I'm thinking spew, but I don't think that's it. It's a tiny little knife. Again, you can clip it anywhere. You can throw it in your pocket if you want. It's probably 8CR or something. It would be 8CR, CRKT. But I mean, it really is just a lovely little knife to have on you for any kind of reason you wanted just a wee quick fixed blade and the retention's really good in that wee sheath no noise at all super little sheath there we go uh the next one is probably the one i've had the longest i got this from uh, aliexpress when they used to send me knives uh this is from san ramu this is one of the best little clicky systems. This was sort of when they first started coming out, where you can just turn it wherever you want and it locks on. So you can turn it left or right, and wherever you stop it, it will lock. There you go. You can have it at any angle you want down your belt, facing downwards or upwards. Super little knife. Now, it's just skeletonized, and I think this was 8CR as well. I think this is 8CR 13. Again, tough little steel. It'll do you anything you only want to do a bit of feather sticking or when you're going to light a wee fire. Having this in your, your, your belt, just pull it out and do it. It'll do any little task like that. Yes, you might have to sharpen it, but, you know, it, it is just a useful cutting a bit of string. You know, doing a wee tiny bit of feather sticking just to get your fire started. This is the perfect little camp knife just to have on your side rather than some big wieldy thing um, flapping about. Where shall we go from here? Let's go to here. This is uh, the company that is now defunct. Um, the OKC. And this is their little um, do-it-all kitchen knife type of thing. Nice wooden handles. Really well put together. Uh, car sharp as bedeviled. I use this as a like just a paring knife in the kitchen. It's one of many I have there. But I like this one. I do have it, like it's been in the wash, it's just been everywhere. Um, but it's a nice little sheath. If you wanted to wear it in your belt, you could do. I've just used this in the kitchen, to be honest with you. Um, absolutely love it. Well used, you can see. This was down the caravan for a long time as my pairing knife. Um, here's another little nice that, this is just, a, this was my letter opener for a while. Um, 
lovely little small fixed blade from Rough Rider. So well done these knives. Absolutely beautifully done. Fit and finish on it is just fantastic. And a great wee letter opener or just whatever you want. You, you could take this if you go on trout fishing, you know, for river trout, which are going to be a pound at the most, most of the time. You can take that and you can strip that down. But again, this was used as my letter opener. It's lovely. Nice bone on it. I didn't keep it in the sheath when I was doing it as a letter opener. It just sat on the desk. But uh, it's it's there. Lovely little knife. Highly recommend it. And it's funny, I was going to clear out. I thought I, you know, I'd get these all out and then I would do a clear out of them. And I have managed to talk myself into keeping all of them bar one. Um, and this one, I, probably, you know, I might just throw it in my toolbox. I bought this off uh, Amazon years ago. Um, it's a no-name steel. You, I can put an edge on it. It's probably a low-end steel. Um, but it's really, again, it's really well made. It's a full tang. I use this as a steak knife down the caravan. It's stainless steel. Um, probably very low. That doesn't hold the edge for it. But then most knives don't hold the edge against a plate. You know what I mean? They just don't. It'll take the edge off them. So if you sharpen it, we're doing, I'm not going to throw it away now. It's going to get some drawer. <laughs> there we go. What else have we got here? This one I just put in here because I'm going to do my larger knives. I don't have that many larger knives, but I'm going to do one of them probably next week, the larger knives. This is a little knife I bought this last year, sorry, for my little grandsons to teach them how to use a knife, uh, you know, a fixed blade knife. Uh, I like the little guard for them to get them used to keeping their fingers away from the edge. So this summer or this spring, I should say, they're going to get outside and they want to learn how to use it and learn how to whittle with a knife. Give them a stick and let them whittle. They're quite happily taking the bark off tree, you know, off a, a limb. They're, they're <laughs> well, not a, not a human limb off a tree branch. Uh, it's a lovely little knife from Mora. Um, inexpensive for what it is because it's very well made. Good steel, just super to have around. This one is an old one. This is one of my subs gave me years ago, and this is terrible. I've forgotten the name of him, but he'll know me, and you know me. I have no memory for for names either. Look at that. What he used to do was he'd get older knives um, and like cut them off, and he would adapt them and make the scales for them uh, just for something to do. He just done it, and he gave most of them he gave away to friends. But this is a little, if you want to chop things off, you know, this is just a dinky little thing. And the fact that somebody handmade it and this bead with a marble in the end of it, I absolutely loved it. So this is a wee, just a wee knife that means a lot. Really does. It sits in your belt like that. Lovely little knife. So now we're into the more sort of better ones that I have. Um, I have this one. I got this last year or last year or the year before. Lovely little Nesmuk. This is a QSP. Um, lovely little knife. Looks like a little bird's head, doesn't it? A little goose. It reminds me of a little goose. It's in a nice little sheath. No rattle, which I do love when I've got a knife. This would just go in my pocket um, if I might for the day. It's just a handy wee knife to have in your pocket if you want a fixed blade. One of the best wee carries. And this one overall is... You know, it's about seven inches overall in length. Uh, easily slipped into my pockets. Super little knife that, I have to say. I love that. And D2 as well. It's good to be steel on it. Um, here is the Twisted Assisted Fixed Blade. And I think he still has some of these left. I'm not sure. Lovely little knife. Um, in 14C28N, I believe this was in. Beautiful. Really lovely in hand. Uh, my fourth finger goes on the end here, but sits incredibly comfortable. Just a great little working knife for around the camp. Again, nine times out of ten, I'll just slip it in my pocket. I haven't even got a little bracket on it. Um, but that other wee one that I showed you would fit this if I wanted to put it, you know, side draw. Stop, please. Eddie. Um, just a, a lovely solid head with well, good weighty knife look at the thick of the tang and the thickness of the tang it's a lovely little knife to carry very comfortable in the hand and then the two the, these these last ones here the, these both were given to me um by these knives great channel get over and check the these knives out um 
I, I've had these for I don't know, it must be four years, three four years. Um, beautiful little knives. These are LT right knives. Uh, what a gorgeous little knife! And they still they still sell these these. There's two different types of this little small knife. It is a three finger knife. The fourth just goes on that wee bead at the back. And it is an absolutely immaculate. It's thin. Look at the stock. It's thin. It's ground well. Beautiful little knife. This used to sit over there. Well, not used to. This does sit over there in my little uh, my little station for things to keep. This is what opens the packages and does all sorts of dirty work. I, I just put it. I got this fabulous sheath. Um, this is for who is this? H and H S H S E D C. Uh, a leather maker over here in the UK. Highly recommend him. Super little case. He done this with a special back on his double. So this is leather stitched onto the leather pouch. Absolutely love it. And it just I put a little bit of leather on the bottom of it so that I could stick this into the leather when I pushed it in. It wasn't made for this, but it's a super pocket carry. If I ever want to lift one, this is the one I lift on the way out the door. I'll just set that over there. It'll go back to where it was. And he sent me this other one. Uh, they both had sheaths like this. This is another make. And for the life of me, I can't remember what the models are. Um, beautiful little knife. And he even put his name into it. He burnt his name on there or scratched it out. These knives. D apostrophe, apostrophe S knives. Go and check him out. Great channel and great selection of knives he has on his, his channel. I used to be nearly all fixed blade, but now he's so many knives and he is a knife user you know he works on the land so he's a knife user beautiful little knife again now there's no lanyard holding this one this is just a three finger with a back comfortable i could work all day with this wee knife it is just lovely it's fatter than the other one fatter blade steel but still takes a super edge and d done the done all this on the blade and i you know i just Great wee user, absolutely super user. Again, for on the belt, it doesn't stick much over above the lip. Where your belt's going to be? Super little sidearm to have with you when you're out camping or whatever, instead of having a big knife dangling there. And lastly, is one of my favorite. Well, it is my favorite little fixed blade. Um, this is uh, an Ashley Harrison Ski and Do. Uh, very basic little leather sheath, but this is supposed to tuck down in your sock. It's flat on one side. But look at that wood. Is that not just a beautiful piece of wood? Just a beautiful piece of wood. And then you have the skin do blade on her. She's got file work done on the top of the handle here. Beautiful little blade. Sharp. It will cut it will cut your dinner up. Uh, and a lot of times that's what people would have used them for in the day. And one knife done all. Uh, you know, it was cleaning a horse's hoof and then straight into your dinner with it. But Beautifully made by Ashley, and it is so smooth. It just the contours of it are fantastic, and the fact that one size is flat, it actually gives you really good grip, which is a real surprise. You wouldn't expect this to be comfortable in hand, but with that flat side, you're locked off. The knife can't twist even, which is you know really good for a straight, just a straight handle knife. Love this knife. Really is beautiful knife. Have I used it? No, not really. I got it just so as I could have a ski and do in my collection, and I have, and here it is. Should show it more because it is beautifully done. Really, it's just olive wood, but oh, it is just delicious. So smooth. The finish he gets on these is just amazing. So there you go. That is my collection of small knives for your perusal. And uh, if you have any questions, do you want to ask anything about them, please do. Will I get any more? Uh, probably not. I, well, you know, I'm not on the lookout for more, but whether I get any more can be changeable by week to week. But I've got all the small ones that I'll ever possibly need. Um, but it's nice to have that selection in, your, in, in, in my collection. It's nice to have that. So if, if we're in conversation, I can bring one out and show it, you know, to, to compare it to something else. And I just love them. Take care, everybody. And remember, at the beginning... Please like, share and subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you as part of the channel. All the very best. Paddy's gone now. Cup of tea time. Bye.